following trends is just not about what we wear, but it's also about lifestyle. And today we're talking about short sales and what's going on in the real estate industry with Tom Durkin from Keller Williams and Jeff Ziefel from Markvi and Ziefel Attorneys at Law. They're going to answer our questions on short sales. Let's go talk to them. Hey Tom, nice Hi, to Denise. see you again. Good to see you. Hi Jeff. Hi Denise. You know, we're hearing so much about short sales and real estate. What's going on and what is a short sale? Well, if you would have asked me that question five years ago, I would have said that was something that happens at Kohl's. But today a short sale means that we're asking the lender to take less than what is owned on the house. Jeff, why would someone need to use an attorney on a short sale? Well, Denise, there is a lot of legal consequences and aspects to short sales. What our office does is provide advice to the seller so that they have, they're well informed of all these consequences. We've got some viewer questions on short sales. Are you ready to take them on? Sure. Take them on. Okay. Well, Mystery Mimi, we got them right here. Let's all go. Right. I've just lost my job and I'm having difficulty making the payments. What about just walking away? Susan from Minneapolis, Minnesota. Well, Susan, that's probably one of the worst things you can do. Uh, walking away from a property can affect you way in the long run. Uh, short sale uh, does not affect your credit as bad as a foreclosure, which is what will wind up happening in the long run should you walk away. Bill from Stillwater, Minnesota writes, the sheriff sale just happened last week. Can I still get help? Yes, we certainly can, but time is running out. There is only a, a six month period after the sheriff sale where you still have the ability to sell the home. I'd rather walk away than spend money I don't have on a short sale. I've heard it can be expensive. Is this true? Charlie from Delano, Minnesota. Charlie, that's probably the number one question I get asked. People are in, are in trouble, they don't have the money. Through the process we use, it will not cost you anything to sell your house. I pay attorney fees, I pay everything else. So bottom line, Charlie, I can do it for free. What information from me is needed to start the process? Mary from Lakeville. Mary, we ask you to fill out a questionnaire with some basic information before you have a meeting with myself. But most of the information we gain at the meeting in discussing your situation. Hey, I'm Trisha and I live in Burnsville. Can you help me out here? Trisha, yes I can. Uh, we have really no geographical boundaries in the Twin Cities. Because short sales are affecting everyone, we're able to go meet with you and help you out. Vicki from Forest Lake writes, how does someone know if they are a candidate for a short sale? First of all, to be eligible for a short sale, your home value must be at a, at a range that you owe more on the home than it's worth. Secondly, that you must have a demonstrated hardship in the sense that financially you, you can't afford the payment, such as you've lost your job, have decreased work hours, or in some circumstances you, you're required by your employer to relocate these qualify you for a short sale. Dennis from St. Paul wants to know, will my neighbors know that I'm losing my home and need to do a short sale? Good question, Dennis. No, your neighbors will not. We'll put a sign up just like a traditional sale. All the bells and whistles that goes into a traditional sale will be there, but there will be no big announcement or any kind of signage indicating this is a short sale. So it'll look again like a traditional sale. Tom, Jeff, that was great information on short sales. Is there anything else you can share with us? Well, I would say, Denise, that there's a great deal of misinformation out there about short sales, and it's very important to have competent professionals working with you in that process. Tom? That's a great question. In the early 90s, I went through a similar situation, so I know what it is to lay in bed at night worrying about where the next pay is going to come from to pay the mortgage. I know that sense of embarrassment. That's what I bring to people, some empathy and some understanding of where they are and where they're coming from. I've got some questions of my own. Can you get it? I'll buy you a cup of coffee? Sure. Okay. Well, Mr. Mimi, she's on it. We already have it. Here you oh, go. Great. Thank you. With 40% of the homes in the metro area being overvalued, a short sale just might be an option for you.